job hunting in the 21st century, using technology for career search advantages. Who am I? I'm Dawn D. Boyer, PhD, and I have 22 years of human resources, recruiting, and resume writing experience, and I have rewritten over 10,000 resumes in the last 11 to 12 years, and have helped hundreds of job seekers get their resumes in front of recruiters or hiring managers for consideration for open jobs. My consulting company helps job seekers rewrite resumes for job searches. If after watching the presentations that I'm offering here, you can't seem to be able to do it yourself or don't have the technical savvy to do it, let me help you get that new job. Before you spend thousands of dollars or even several hundreds of dollars to go to these big offices where they provide resume rewriting for you and interview training and coaching and mass mails of hard copy resumes, let me walk you through the process that may get you a little bit further and for far less money in your job search than just paying a bunch of money to have somebody tell you what to do. Every trip you make is worth beginning with a goal and the goal needs to have a map so you can follow for strategic short and long-term planning for your career or job search. Treat that job search as a strategic business goal because job searches and career planning are no different than being in business with goals in mind. I have to give you a little bit of a warning. This presentation and the ones following are not packed with a lot of graphics, so there won't be a lot of pretty pictures, but you will get as much information, data, uh, that is valuable and useful for your career search and so it might be a little boring to your eyes, but it is going to be ear candy because it's going to be full of rich data and information that you can use. So get back into a comfortable chair and get your pen and your paper out to take notes. Everybody should be an amateur job seeker. If you're not and you're hopping from one job to another, this sort of waves a red flag to employers. Now the only exception might be if you are a contractor or subcontractor or working for the federal defense industry where contracts will move from one owner to another, but you may be sitting in the same desk or chair regardless of who your employer is. So even though you're an amateur job seeker, you should be a professional in your activities and use professional methods and tools and a professional resume placed in multiple sources will increase the odds you can remain an amateur job seeker. Now before we start the training, we're going to share with you the objectives for why you even want to watch these presentations. We do know you're looking for a new job or a career change, so you need to know what you're looking for so you can follow along with all the following presentations so you know what you're going to get out of the, your time that you're spending here. You do need to understand the difference between 20th and 21st century job hunting techniques. It's not your father or grandfather's world. How to write a resume using technology that is sought after by recruiters. You want to know how to research job descriptions so that you can write that resume for search engine optimization, or SEO. You need to understand the recruiter's practice of resume farming. You've heard the old adage for quilters that says, whoever dies with the most fabric wins. Well, the same thing goes for recruiters. The one who has the most resumes in their database are more likely going to get that job filled quicker and faster for the hiring manager. So you need to understand the process that is used by recruiters who are using modern technology. You need to know why old school advice on resume writing could be harmful to your job search and understand why it may be unfair to you, the job seeker, if you use old advice. 
You need to understand how to protect your identity as an applicant. You never know who's going to be seeing your resume nowadays. And you need to know how to write your resume to show, not tell, about your experience. You also need to create metrics in your resume so that you can have value added in the text to prove your abilities or capabilities for your current employers as well as your future employers. You can also use personality tests to gain a little bit of an advantage against other candidates. If you've already been tested for personality traits for certain jobs and you, you're a rock star in one particular job, you want to brag about it in your resume. You also want to make it easier for recruiters to find you versus search engine optimization of your resume for when they use Boolean searches. And that's the simple explanation of putting those key terms in the search box in Google, Yahoo, and Bing you want your resume to come up first, or at least in the top 10. Use newer resume writing and job search tools and techniques to get your resume higher on the results queue in searches within databases. You also want to know how to use LinkedIn as a recruiter's paradise for qualified candidate searches for your skills and experience. So you want to know how to enrich your profile, you want to be members of and participate in groups. You want to be able to reach out and develop relationships and then also be able to research point of contact data for companies that you want to go to work for. You also want to be able to use blogs to increase your search engine optimization for resume websites. And even though a lot of people think job fairs are not useful in searching for a job, there are ways to use them to your advantage to be able to search and research the company a little bit further to see who you can talk to directly or send your resume to directly. You want to build a one-page cover letter so you need to know how to research a company to write the first paragraph with a hook to get the recruiters attention. And you also want to know how to submit cover letters online as well as via email so that the recruiters don't have this fear of potential viruses attached to the email you send to them. You want to know how to write a resume to match those key terms, descriptions, and skills that are written in a majority of job descriptions that are posted for just what you do. And how to engage the recruiter with the top four inches of your resume so that it creates a hook to pull them in and make them want to read more of your resume. When the calls start coming in, it's time to make all your hard work work. You want to be able to suggest a telephonic interview first with the hiring company so that you could get to feel each other out. You want to know how to make your interview memorable to the hiring manager or to the panel of interviewers and you must have a good presentation. The first impression you give to any hiring manager is going to be the one they'll remember forever. You need to know simple protocol that is courtesy for before, during, and after the interview. There are some tasks you need to complete before, during, and after the interview. And you'll also want to know how to use body language to subliminally persuade them to thinking you're serious about the job as well as very interested and qualified in working for the company. So once you start reposting your revised resume with metrics, the increased use of key skill words on blogs, social media, and major job boards, guess what's going to happen? you're going to be amazed at the increased number of communications you're going to start receiving from recruiters and headhunters. So this presentation segment has told you what you need to know and what type of objectives you're going to be presented before you start your job search. Now if you decide you just simply can't do it yourself, that's okay. I'm here for you to help you out. Visit my website at dboyerconsulting.com or send me an email at dawn.boyer at dboyerconsulting.com 
and get the expert to help write your resume to obtain results that you are seeking to advance your career. Thanks for listening. Now on to the next presentation.